Do you guys want a Yahoo? Yes. Oh, fuck me, I guess. I want a munch. You guys aren't really giving me much heat. Griffin was all disappointed. You came in low. Uh, well, well if I'm you so say I want a munch, season. I'm not going to jump up eight octaves. I just yeah. meant Griffin was like, fuck me, I guess. Well, I started doing it. It still I came hurts in to get interrupted. Okay, so do you want a munch? Yeah, Quack. I do. I want a munch. Squad. I want to munch. Squad. G -g 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 Welcome to Munch Squad. It's a podcast within a podcast uh, about the latest and greatest in quick service dining. Uh, quick. Um, meatless update, Ooh. meatless bim bam, meatless Monday, meatless munch, meatless munch. There it is. Quick meatless munch update. The newest uh meatless product, Four Rivers Smokehouse debuts uh Beyond Burnt Ends. Huh. This is a a burnt end sandwich that is meatless. That just seems. It seems like there's a lot of other meats we should try to get through. These, Before we move on to burnt in sandwiches, I would say more, listen. I like burnt ends. Don't get me wrong, but it is one of the least appetizing names for a thing ever. It yeah. makes it sound like, "Hey, yeah. here are the ruined <laughs> bits." Like, I'll take them. Oh, really? You want the ruined bits? Like, yeah. Oh, I love the ruined bits. We've scientifically replicated ruined bits. That's wild. What's wrong with us, anyway? That's not the Munch Squad, though. Okay. This week, we're going to talk about Yogurt Land. Yes, which I don't finally. know that we've talked. I don't know we've talked about Yogurt Land I, before. I'm, we got to have talked <clears throat> about Yogurt Land. They are brave pioneers. They got 300 locations across the U.S. I said across. I heard. They got 300 locations across the U.S., Australia, Dubai, Guam, Indonesia, Myanmar, Oman, Singapore, and Thailand. The holidays are here, and Yogurt Land is rewarding fans with a new promotional flavor and topping beginning December 2nd. Yogurt Land is spicing things up with, I will give each of you a couple guesses. Oh, my God. Uh, I will tell you this. It is a it is a manufactured product. Okay. Spicing things spicing up with candy things. cane? Sriracha? No and no. Like, Takis? Now it's flaming hot Cheetos. Oh, fuck, that was oh the other get one. out! Available this holiday season for a limited time only. Thank fuck. It pairs perfectly with a variety of Yogurtland's frozen yogurt and light ice cream flavors. With a variety of them, this year we're in, this year we've introduced our fans to a variety of new toppings and flavors. And Cheetos flaming hot topping is by far the most unique. It, yeah, but they, that's not a synonym for good. Yeah, what if it, what? Why is it flaming hot topping? Why is it not just flaming? Is it? Have they done something to the Cheeto to make it more? I don't know. Digestible. Hey, boo, it's flaming hot Cheetos that they're putting on yogurt. Okay, that's but okay. also that's in the yogurt, whole fucking bit. We're excited. Uh, they say we know our fans are headed. This is um by the way um. I don't know, some drone. Uh, <laughs> we know our fans are headed into this holiday season ready to spice things up. The fucking fiction that you're trying to sell me on is that your fans of Yogurt Land are headed in there ready to put some fucking flaming hot Cheetos on their ice cream? Are you fucking around with me? Hey, Justin, can I ask you a question? You're, you're I would say, both the most educated on QSR trends like person I know and maybe that exists on the planet, who yeah. is to blame for this? Like if you had to track, because here's the thing, Yogurt Land did not all on their own one day wake up and say, we have to put Flaming Hot Cheetos on our yogurt. They had it to have seen direct, some kind of trend developing that forced their hand. It is a direct fucking line. Do you want to know where it all starts? Yes. For me? Yes. It's a direct line to the double down. Yep. Huh. It all comes back to the double down. The first time that KFC made a sandwich where the bread was fried chicken and the innards were bacon, that was their bold way of proclaiming, we've got a great new sandwich for $3.99 and also God is dead. Okay. KFC started the downfall of everything the with the double down. down. 
They threw some fire, some some fuel to the fire with the fucking famous bowls, and I think that Taco Bell has a considerable amount of blame yeah. with the Doritos taco. If I, if I, I think if I that may, that's a huge. I also think McDonald's when they were like, um, uh, "Hey guys, uh, is pizza anything?" And I think that KFC, I think the Colonel probably looked at that like, wait, hold up. We don't just have to stay in our lane. Like we can get nasty. Yeah. But Griffin, I would order that pizza is something. Pizza is something. Flaming hot Cheetos on top of yogurt is nothing. That is not, that is nothing. If, if yogurt land said, we're now going to do pizza too. I would be like, oh, expanding as opposed to saying, and now we're just going to ruin some yogurt. Somebody was looking forward to eating. You have to eat. These Cheetos on top of a yogurt land yogurt to save the world from the big asteroid. <laughs> Which <laughs> flavor do you pair it with? Vanilla. I was thinking vanilla, right? Because now I'm thinking of how the powder would look as it gets mixed in there, and I don't hate it because I'm a fucking toilet. But I also um, the thing is, it's like any any flavor that I love. Like I love yeah. like cheesecake flavor. No. Like, that's ruined now. I like mint chocolate chip. No, that's ruined now. But, okay, but I'm thinking of a sort of citrusy flavor, right? Like, something with a little bit, something with more acidic notes. Maybe a dark chocolate. That's fucking stomach turning. Dark chocolate. Also available for a limited time. Dark chocolate might be good. Yogurt Land's new molasses. If someone tried to give me dark chocolate dipped flaming hot Cheetos, my microphone's muted. Hold on. Let me try to fix my microphone. It's muted. Also available for a limited time, Yogurt Land's new molasses gingerbread cookie frozen yogurt flavor is giving holiday fanatics a little spice with every spoonful. The new flavor tastes like a chewy molasses cookie in this part. Fucking. The new flavor tastes like a chewy molasses cookie straight from the oven. Huh. It's not- by definition, <laughs> I mean, by fucking definition, it's it's fucking frozen yogurt. It does not taste fresh. It could be anything. The one thing is incapable of tasting like right. is that it is fresh from the oven. Now, okay. some Cheetos on this would not be the the pits, I feel. It would be the pits, but it wouldn't be the worst imaginable combo because you do get I'd that. be able to choke some of it Yeah, down. cinnamon spice, so very nice. Mouth is cold. Chester's here to help me out with that, with his hot heat. Hey, guys, I like offhandedly Except- said chocolate dipped flaming Hot Cheetos, and now I'm afraid I've made that happen, and I want them. Right? Separating Yogurt Land from competitors. Oh, I'm sorry. I think my microphone is muted. Hold on. <laughs> guys, I, let me check. Okay. You probably didn't hear me. I said some dark chocolate dipped flaming Hot Cheetos. No, I don't think that would be good. Separating Yogurt Land from competitors is the company's team of flavorologists who've developed more than 200 different craveable flavors. Okay. Whether traditional or exotic, each recipe uses real ingredients from across the globe. I want to break this down a little bit because you hear a lot of mealy-mouthed sort of half-truths in in these things, and I do want to stop it and take a pull over the car and look at Each recipe uses real ingredients from across the globe. The inverse of that statement, Mm -hmm. were it not true, would be that Yogurt Land uses imaginary ingredients from across (laughs) the globe. Yes. That you do not have to tell that the the ingredients are, here's the one thing we'll say about them, they're extant, and they are present on this globe. They cast shadows. They're real, true ingredients. Um, challenging stuff, Jews. Challenging stuff. Yeah, I let me know how this is. I guess if you got a yogurt land near you, I don't have one anywhere around. I got one pretty close. I'll fuck one of these up. 